In this video I'll show you how to connect your HP DeskJet 4255E to your Mac computer using Wi-Fi and also show you how to print and also how to get the scan results directly on your Mac again using the Wi-Fi so let's get started right away. First step is to make sure that the printer is in pairing mode. Let's go on the small panel there. Take a look at the Wi-Fi light right there and if you see it blinking blue it's great. The printer is now in pairing mode. Now if you don't see it blinking blue it simply means that we need to put it in that mode. So press the Wi-Fi icon here at the same time as the X button both for like three or four seconds until this power button starts blinking. So let me do it with you. I'm pressing both and waiting. Okay it's blinking. I can release my fingers and now the Wi-Fi icon, I mean the Wi-Fi light is blinking blue. The printer is in pairing mode. Let's go on the Mac. Now open the App Store on your Mac. If you don't know how, well just go down below and you should see Launchpad. Click on Launchpad and then in the search bar right on the top type App. And one of these options should be App Store. So go ahead, launch it. Go in the search bar and type HP Smart and search for this app. Go down and you should see HP Smart for desktop. Click on get and it will download it and install it on your Mac. Once this is done, let's open the app. Once the app is open, you should see this main screen. And from here, if you don't have any printers already connected to the app, you're going to see a big add printer button. If not, click on the top right corner. It's the same thing. It's a printer with a plus sign. We'll add this printer by clicking on new printer. Then select your DeskJet in this list, press continue, press allow. Now you're going to have to type the Wi-Fi password of the Wi-Fi network that your Mac is currently connected to because this is the network that your printer will also connect. Press continue. Now they'll ask you to press the I button on the printer itself. So let's go down there and press once on I. This way the setup will continue on your Mac computer. Press continue. Press decline optional data or accept all. It's up to you if you want to share your personal data with HP. Now if you're getting stuck on this screen for more than five minutes, something went wrong. Okay, so just exit the app and reopen it. By doing so, you see over here, the printer has been added. It will tell you if there is any firmware available. I'll click no for now, but you can install it if you want. And now if you want to print something, go over here in this app, press on print documents or print photo. It's up to you. I'll print a document. Go in all files and select the file on your Mac computer. So this is the file I have selected. Now go down, press on print preview. Click on this small arrow and make sure that this information is okay. So the name of your printer, make sure HP DeskJet 4200 series is the one that is there. Paper size, how many copies, print quality. Again, it's up to you. At the end, press print and the printing should start. Usually it takes around 14 seconds. Here we go, we got it. Now how do you use the two scanners? There's one scanner over here and the other one is a top document feeder. I'll show you both. So take your document, let's say I have this page that I want to scan. Open this. Place it facing down with the top part of your document towards the left side. And now we need to align the corner of your document with the top left corner of the scanner. Okay, so both of these needs to touch. Close down. If you want to use this uh, top document feeder, so it's good if you have more. So it's great if you have multiple pages. Here I have two, but you can have like 15. Align them and put them facing up with the top part of your document towards the left side simply glide them in like that. I won't do it because I will use the other one. But if you put it there, it will simply take them one by one by um, itself. So on your Mac computer, let's exit here. I'll press down. In this screen, press printer scan this time. These are the info that you may have to change 
Okay, so source, depending where you have put your paper to select scanner glass, if it's, uh, I mean, the flatbed where I have put my document, or if it's the automatic document feeder, select document feeder. Presets, it's up to you, honestly, if you're printing a, uh, scanning a photo, select photo, if not document. Output, color or black and white, page size, it's up to you to select it. And resolution, you have multiple choices here. If you're gonna select, uh, if you're gonna, um, sorry, scan a document that has a lot of details, for example, a picture, maybe a painting, artwork, something like that, and you want the maximum details, you're gonna select 1200 DPI. The only problem is that your scan may take two or three minutes to do. If you simply scan in text with some graphics and, you know, something basic like the document I've just put there, select 200 dpi, I think it's plenty enough and the scan will be done in 14 seconds. Press scan and wait. We got our scan, you can edit the scan like make putting some annotation on it, rotate it if you have placed it the wrong way. And at the end on the top right corner here you have save. If you want to save it on your Mac computer, you'll be able to rename the file and also share if you prefer sharing it on social media or email, stuff like that. Uh, you're gonna click on share and you have print. If you want to print whatever you have, just scan. So this is about it. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If you want to get some paper, some ink or even a new printer, please go through my Amazon links down below. You support my channel every time you go through them because I get a very small commission. If not, well, just leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.